Good morning. It's Saturday, 25th of August. Although this doesn't look much like August. In another four months' time, it's Christmas. It's 25 to 8 in the morning. So we have a late start. For me. I was going to go to Costa Coffee, but I had to lie in. Um, Malcolm Uphill, and then the bus down to the Ghent of the Valleys, Taff's Well, which reminds me a bit of Taff Acre, and Fagin's Ale and Chop House. Emphasis on the ale. What sort of state I'm going to be when I get back in home? Who knows? But look at that. It's somewhat grey. I mentioned it's a bank holiday weekend so obviously it's raining this is when I'm starting I'm not sure about breakfast we shall see yep it's open there go the Malcolm up to the people yay for beer and this is the way that we're rolling today Emergency cappuccino, and this is a cask lager. It's Scottish. Shehalian by Harvestoon. He says, ruining in the names, 4.8% alcohol by volume. I don't think I'll go for full English. I just don't feel like it. I got chocolate on top of there. Anyway. That's a proper lager. Packs of flavour. And dare I say it, it tastes Scottish. I give that a B. Plus. <sighs> Sorry. Number two Exmoor Gold. From the Exmoor Brewery, 4.5%, 4.5% in Europe. Um, Alcohol by volume. I remember having this done in Plymouth, I'm thinking this is a good beer. And this price is a premium beer. The coffee is, of course, gone. Very fun. Mmm, this is a. This is a good beer. Golden, although I'm not sure if you can tell. Bitter and refreshing. And I'm already feeling like I should be asleep. However, listening to Twit, OJCD, but it's already getting good. Twitter API. And number three, and I'm not sure if the first time I had this was in the John Fielding in Cumbran. This is Romney King's Ale from the Romney Brewery, now from Blind Adam. They're opening a real ale bar in Albany Road in Cardiff. Anyway, this is a big plus. But it's a bit lively. It's a very good session. It's B plus, but why not? It can get a bit windy up there. I can't even remember how long it is since I've been here the last. Big cars on the way. It's not raining, it's a bit cloudy, but the sun's out and it's quite warm. Seems to be open. Here we go. And this is Fagin's. And this is Hophead by Dark Star, which is 3.8% alcohol by volume. And I've had a little sub. And it's very hoppy. And it's excellent. That's an A minus. Really, really good. Am I, am I staring at you now? You're on. What are you drinking, Big Carl? 
I'll just say that because I ordered it raw. Is it happy days? Yes. But I'll drink Rogers after. And I bet you would as well. This is um, Bishop's Farewell by Oakham's. I follow a guy from the Broders, I think it's on the Isle of Man. 4.6% alcohol by volume. It's a gravity feed for you. And I only got mine because it was called Happy Days, so I thought, what the hell? <laughs> and it's Welsh. And it's Welsh. Okay, so here we go. Ooh. Citrusy and bitter, that's nice. That's probably a B plus, plus so I'll give it a B plus. Big tone. <laughs> so, it's a big car, and we're both drinking the same beer. This is Amarillo by Crouch Vale. Is this the way to Amarillo? <laughs> Who'd have thought, eh? Um, 5% alcohol by volume, and here comes the report from Carl. Quite a tangy little beer, B plus. The B plus from Carl, let's see what I think. Oh, it's very tangy little beer, isn't it? I think that B plus is fair. But there's a there's a huge amount of taste in that. That's like an old beer. 